I'm Miguel at Data Video, and this is our first video in a tutorial series on the Showcast 100. It's an all-in-one 4K production studio, which has an audio mixer, four input switcher, streaming and recording capabilities, as well as an integrated PTZ camera controller. It's all made so that you have all of these, what would be separate devices, at your fingertips. So in our first tutorial here, we're gonna set up a three camera workflow. As you can see, I'm flanked by the two cameras in front of me and I have a third camera here by my side, and I also have a laptop. So we're gonna learn how to set up all of this going into the Showcast 100 for a basic presentation. Let's get started with a quick tour of the touch panel of the Showcast 100. As you can see, we have our multi-view screen, and we can set up our preview and program buses here. The switcher section of the menu, uh, this is where you're going to be accessing your camera presets. The setup menu is for setting up the white balance, focus, and iris of your cameras. And the menu button, we're gonna get into that in the next tutorial. So whatever camera you have selected will be manipulated and set up for this section of the touchscreen. In our bottom right corner, we have our transitions here. And this is the tactile part. So it's just part of the showcast, feels more like a traditional switcher. And then we can enable our PIP and Luma. This is how you're gonna bring in your lower thirds through Luma and PIP, we're gonna be going over that in the next video. Here we could do transitions like a conventional uh, T-bar. It's this little scroll wheel. Um, we can set the speed for our auto transitions. And then finally we have our PTZ camera controller up here. We want to lock our PTZ camera up so that we don't accidentally touch it when we have it set up in the perfect position for the production. Uh, we can manipulate camera one, two, and three. That's our stream button. Here's our record button when you want to do um, a vertical mode. And then here's our basic audio mixer. And then we also have our SD card slot for our micro SD cards. And that would be for recording. Here's the back of the Showcast 100. Everything's unplugged. We have our HDMI inputs. There are four. You can plug uh, any device into each one, but uh, the way we have it set up here is input one, two, and three are our PTZ cameras, and HDMI four is for our laptop, and it's gonna behave like a 4K display. But the Showcast, if you feed it an HD signal, will um, upscale it to 4K or uh, downscale it to HD. You can set those up in the settings in the menu. Ethernet port here for streaming is for connecting the Showcast 100 to the internet. We'll go over that in a future tutorial. Um, on our outputs, program one, two, and three are all 4K outputs, and they're all going to be active at the same time. And you can set the resolution of your program out in the menu. You can upscale or downscale. Next is our audio um, inputs and outputs. We have XLR channel one and two, and then we have an RCA stereo in, an RCA stereo output if you're going to um, an external device and you want your audio to feed to it. The DVAP port is going to be communicating with a router. So instead of running uh, an RS-422 uh, connection, uh, home run, each camera connecting to the switcher, you can actually just run your cameras to the router and then have a single cable connecting your switcher to those cameras. We'll go over that a little bit later. Here's our um, input for the power supply. And then uh, we have our firmware upgrade USB port there. And the tally input is for communicating external um, tally information to say a data video intercom system or something like that. The tally for your cameras is going to be handled through RS-422 or through IP. So we're going to assume you're using data video cameras with your Showcast 100. This is the PTC 280 4K PTZ cameras as well as the other two we had set up earlier. As you can see, we disconnected all of the cameras so I can show you how the setup works. You can also use the data video PTC 300 which is a 20x zoom camera. The PTC 280s are 12x zoom, so the 300 has a little more punch. And then there's also the PTC 285, which is a brand new 4K tracking camera. So it's like the PTC 280, has the same sensor, same 12x optical zoom, except it has an AI tracker in it. There's a link in the description below about that. Moving on, we're gonna learn how to set up data video 4K PTZ cameras with the Showcast. So you have two options. You can do RS-422, which is serial control, or you can do IP control. You're going to need an HDMI cable and an ethernet cable for either workflow because we're going to be connecting uh, the camera either to the Showcast 100 or to a router. 
And then of course you need to plug in your camera into the power supply. So let's just start by booting up our camera. And then let's plug the HDMI cable into input one. And when we're doing a uh, serial control, which is where we're gonna start, we're gonna wanna make sure we have the HDMI cable from camera one into input one, and that we have the ethernet cable plugged into the RS-422 port. And then we're gonna plug it into the port number one on the back of the Showcast for RS-422. As you can see, one is lit up and two and three are blank and it's already working. So let's set up a quick shot here. It's a very unflattering angle for me, but we can see that the camera is up and running. All right, so that's how we get the uh, serial control to work with the Showcast. Next, let's learn how to do IP. So let's take that same cable and we're gonna plug it into um, an ethernet port. We need to plug the ethernet cable from your router into the back of the Showcast. In the DVIP port, of course. All right, and then let's go ahead and change that ethernet cable from the RS-422 to the DVIP port on the back of your camera. And let's go ahead and restart the camera. All right, so as soon as that camera's done booting up, we're gonna see it on our program out screen here. Um, so in the meantime, let's go to our menu. On the menu, we're going to dive deeper into this in a future tutorial, but for now, let's go to camera. And here we are. So we wanna set up camera one, of course, which is going to input one on the tally mapping. And we wanna set the control from RS-422 to DVIP. Your Showcast 100 should be defaulting to RS-422. Sorry, we didn't go over that earlier, but now you know where to find it. And let's go ahead and hit scan. Simply repeat this process to connect all of your cameras, whether you wanna do serial or IP mode. Next, let's go to uh, the switcher, which will be our camera position. So we can do camera presets from here. So to make a camera preset, I wanna save this one here. I can hit store and then hit one. And then let's go ahead and move the camera down. And let's zoom in to, let's zoom into the control panel here. It's a nice shot down the control panel. And let's go ahead and store position two. So then we can hit one. And as we can see, it comes position one, and then we hit two and go to two. And on the setup menu, I can actually manipulate the white balance. I have it set to one push right now, but you could set it to auto or manual. We could set up the shutter speed right now, have it one over 125. I could lower it to bring more light into my image. Up, oh, okay, and then we can go back. I could set either manual or autofocus, and I could have automatic or manual iris. In the next tutorial, we're gonna dive deeper into the other settings in the menu for both the switcher and the camera. Go ahead and follow us on social media for all the latest from Data Video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.